Good morning, everyone. Still morning? Yes, it's still morning. Coming mean, that way. Um, no, yeah, that way. That's why I did. Sorry. I mean, let me just get the invite thing. Oh, hello, Paddy Mac. You're right, my love. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, one, one. That one. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me just pin that comment. Morning, Leanne. Morning, everyone. Let me turn the volume down so I don't rear myself. Oh, well, I hope you're right, Rachel. Morning, Debs. Morning, Lorraine. Right. Morning, everyone. Well, hang on a minute. Let me just so no one thinks I'm missing them out. Morning, Lucy. Morning, Louise. Morning, Annette. Morning, Rachel. Morning, Agnes. Morning, Mel. Morning, Karen. Morning, Selena. Morning, Hayden. Morning, Sarah. Morning, James. Morning, Erin. Morning, Rena. Morning, Kim. Morning, Yvonne. Morning, Jan. Morning, Raymond Rington. Mate, right. Morning, Stacey Smith. Morning, Paddy. Morning, Flower. Morning, Tiana. Morning, Marie. Donna. Uh, morning, Sarah. Morning, Jane. Morning, Catherine. Morning, Leanne. Morning, Debs, morning, right. Good morning, James. Right, anyway, I've said good morning to everyone now. <clears throat> so, um, morning, PJ. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm a little bit hacked off. I'm not going to come here ranting and raving because I think enough of that's been done recently. But there is a reason for this. <clears throat> um, if Mark Pickford's watching, if you want to jump jump on Mark and come and tell me how them polls were changed eight months after they were done, that you know you didn't the the polls you voted on wasn't the ones asking which child that I sexually abused more, which we both know it was to so stop lying. So come on and tell me how that you voted on a poll, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it wasn't the polls that you voted on because they were changed. Don't lie. Don't lie, Mark. Do you know what? I've done nothing to you and all you've done for the last God knows how long is fucking attack me and post lies about me. And now you're talking this shit, trying to belittle them vile polls that were done about my children. They weren't altered. You can't alter them. Just like you can't alter, you know, you can't don't get me wrong, you know, when polls are up, if it's, if it, the settings are right, people can add options to that poll. They can, right? But you can't change your poll, especially eight months after that poll's taken place. Morning, Paddy. Morning from Mexico. Morning, Mary. You know, as far as that belittles... Anything, and I've not gone ranting and raving about it, do you know what I mean? Because it was donkeys years ago. But to, to try and say that they were that them polls were changed eight months after you voted on them, Mark, why are you lying? Hello, love, you're right. No, fucking pet that. How can people? Sit and say the polls are altered. Well, according to Mark, they was altered eight months after they were done, love. Right, I have no gripe with Mark at all. Neither did you. So why is he going for you all of a sudden? Love, it's not all of a sudden. It's been going for me for a couple of months now. Them polls were done by Joanne Massac asking which of your children you sexually abused and which of them Will you get pregnant first? Yep, but apparently. It, 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 do you know what, right? I've not... I, I was sent... So, a real world truth actually brought up trying to say that um, Wayne Wayne voted on them polls. So Lisa, being, being Lisa, she saves everything. Like, if you need to screenshot, 
Lisa's, Lisa will probably have it, right? Yeah. So Lisa went back and found that screenshot. Wayne didn't vote on it, but Mark did. And, yeah, I posted it up on this page, and I said, don't ever talk to me again. But this was after we'd fallen out, right? I'm yeah. I've ranting and raving about it because it was in the past, right? And, you know, me and Mark had sorted things out, but he's been attacking me recently for no fucking reason, which turns out it's because of Wes, I'm, I'm guessing, right? Um, I'm going to assume now I haven't spoke to Mark from I had that fallout. As everybody knew, I had a public fallout, well, private fallout with other people, and I haven't spoke to him since. Um, but to turn around and say that those polls about your children, and I don't care, they're still kids, so Mark, you can fall out with me, you can troll me, you can real life me, I'm beyond giving a shit now. Because... If you voted on that, you voted on it. I thought you owned your shit. Yeah, well, apparently this time he's not owning his shit. Apparently this time he's not owning his shit, love. In fact, I'm going to read out what he said. He inboxed someone that asked me, Wes brought it up on the live last night and said Mark voted on them. I logged off at the live, Kay's live, yeah. I logged off after I said what I said. Yeah, Mark... Wes said, um, it was after, I, I think I went back on to calm Kay down because she was rightfully upset, very, 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 it was, heart, it was heartbreaking to listen to, Steph, do you know what I mean? It's absolutely heartbreaking, but I went back on, I think it was then, and Wes said, I don't want to trigger you, Lou, but am I right in saying that Mark voted on them polls? And I said, yeah, hmm. no, he's admitted it on a post. And that was it, you know, and then someone put a message in the comments, I'm not going to mention no names, Mark and I I'm talking about, but I don't need to put, mention no names, and said, did he, did he really? And so I said, yeah. And he's then inboxed that person and said, and I've got, had permission. Hello, Patrika. <laughs> Patrika. <laughs> he's then inboxed that person and, and, and sent a screenshot of what this person said and put, do you actually know that poll was, what that poll was actually about? And then they've put, he, he put, sorry, Yes, I voted on a poll. Not wrong with that. Over eight months later, that poll was edited to which child does Lou, Lou abuse the most or something. I'd already been banned from the page and group it was posted in. So just so you're aware, I'm on a ban, so I can't comment any lives or posts, etc. which is why I decided to do a stream yard. That poll, mm. that, that poll wasn't... Why lie, Mark? You owned it then and there on the poll, so why lie? I don't, I, I don't understand what the fuck is going on in this place anymore. It is turned into a disgusting cesspit, love, and it's. When is it? Oh, when is it okay to discuss child sex abuse? I know you don't abuse your kids, but to even insinuate it and to sit and discuss it. And to vote on a poll asking which child I abuse more. Do you know what? Even, even the likes of Julie Bowers on that post said it was disgusting. And that's how Mark said he, that he'd voted. Because even Julie Bowers said, this is disgusting or something along that. Actually, do you know what? I'll show you. And then people can tell me how I, it's um, right there. Oh, no camera. Back camera. I was about to jump on to show you support anyway. No, I appreciate it, darling. I do appreciate it. Paddy, do you know what? I saw the banter groups were horrid way back when. It, the band group have it, fuck all on the hunting community. That's exactly what it is, um, Paddy. It, it's a it's a case of who can be the most vilest. Right there, you go, everyone. There is. Uh, let me turn actually. Wait there. Let me just turn that round so you can see it better. Right there's there's the the polling question. Right, I'd like to know the eight people that actually voted on this poll. That's another comment that's blocked me. Wayne said, me too, I'd like to know. Then Mark Pickford, I voted. Hi, Mark, I had respect for you because you didn't publicly go for me during my fallout with the people I'm not going to mention because I've hashed over that from last night. We've spoken in box. You wished me well, I wished you well. Why? Why, why go for Lou? Well, Lou was doing absolutely no harm in doing her resin. And that's what I'd seen you attacking her for. Oh, because I'm apparently on my benefit sheet, didn't, don't you know? Even though I don't receive You benefits. don't claim benefits? Hell, I know that, love, and other people know that, but clearly they don't know that. So let them report but me. Even if, you, even if you did, right, we were in the middle of a fucking lockdown. A lot of people I know got hobbies. 
So what if you made a couple of extra quid? Right, I'm just trying to find the actual poll before he says, oh, that's not from the poll. I'm just trying to find the poll where them comments are. That was just a screenshot of the comments. Paddy, do you know what? You can be horrible, right? But you've always been nice to me. I've never had any problems with Paddy, to be fair. I, I already had a reputation, but I got to know Paddy for Paddy, but I'll, I'll not butter him up because he used to keep his reputation, you know. <laughs> yeah. Bless him. He know. has to keep his reputation. Yeah, you know, I didn't do nothing to Mark, and, you know, he, he, he first starts commenting on the stream yard, asked, can we discuss people resin, and then... Um, what is it? Um... He put, oh no, not cannabis resin. Resin, um, what scammers use to make cheap rubbish to sell for loads and claim is to cover costs when they're on benefits. Hashtag benefit for all day, Mark. Prick. Like, I'm on a ban myself for 19 days because I called somebody I can't, I needed to come off, like, being able to comment. Mm, yes. Yeah, so it. it was one of them ones you've, I've done it in badness. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm actually being really good. I'm literally, I literally called Steve Bronson a cunt for badness. Somebody had mentioned him and I called him a cunt. He's a cunt. He's not lied. So, I earned the ban. I don't give a shit. I've got 19 days left. Isn't Mark the same guy? That... No, Selena, and don't bring up his dead fucking child either. Get the fuck. Yeah, no, this, Selena, this ain't about Mark's child, so don't bring his, his baby up. This ain't about his child. This ain't about when his child was poorly. This ain't about Mark's child. So, oh, do you know what? People need to stop bringing kids into shit. Fuck off with your fucking comments about his child. Fuck off. Selena, Mark lost his fucking child. Regardless of what the guy's done, he grieves that child. Now, get the fuck off this life before I jump in your inbox and put my fist down your fucking throat. Cunt. Drunken bastard. Sorry. <laughs> I just, you know what? There's just no need, no need to bring kids into it. Just leave the fucking kids out of it. Yeah, she did. And do you know what? I know. Do you know what? Once Chloe and Bo, uh, Chloe and Bo split, things went bollocks. People just need to leave people's fucking kids alone. I'm sick of people bringing people's fucking kids into shit when they, it's fuck all to do. Leave people's family and kids alone. All of you. Is any of the, your admin? Is any of your admin on that can get rid of Selena? No, um, I'll do it. Don't worry, love. Get I'll her gone. Cunt. Bringing people's kids up. I don't care what's going on with me and Mark. Leave his fucking kids alone. Leave Mark. In, leave just everyone. Leave people. Morning, oh. Samantha. Do you know what? I've had my kids brought into it, and some of it I admit it's my own doing. I've bearded people, and they do use your kids. You, they do use your kids. You know. And I'm not, and I'm not saying it's right. And I'm no angel in this place. And I've, none of us are none of us are innocent. Do you know what I mean? None of us are. I mean, but I've never, none of us, me, but, you, Mark, Wayne, any of us, none of us deserve what has happened. And I've included Mark because they have told him about his child. Exactly. Just leave the kids alone. Leave them alone. There's no need, do you know what I mean? There's no fucking need to be... Did people not learn from the stream yard last night listening to what this place nearly pushed me to? Morning, Kay. You right, my darling? Hello, Kay. Oh, where's Kay's comment? Sorry, I've just seen this someone... This place literally nearly pushed me to suicide. That just was... stop it. Remember what you all joined. If you're still involved in teams, I don't know what teams are still going... Stick to what we're here for. No, some can't, darling. Anyway, this I'm just going to show this this quickly. Um, right, this is a screenshot that Sanchez posted up, and I'm only showing it because I, um, I don't know where my screenshot is, and I'm not scrolling through 50 million fucking photos. But you can <laughs> see that this is the poll. This is what I posted up, uh, and you can turn the camera on, you twat. There you go. Look, there's the guilty picture. And then what I'll do is, if I do this, hang on a minute. Oh, fuck's sake, hang on. I'm all right, Rachel Evans, to be honest. I'm just, I was back one a lot. 
a lot of some people know, some people don't. Right, hang on a minute. Right, so this is the poll. This is the where Mark commented, everyone. Right. You can see the guilty picture. Julie Bowers comment saying, I'd like to know the eight people actually voted in this sick poll. And then saying, there's another comment who's blocked me. And then, just so people can, so can't say, oh my God, she's lying. Turn around, you fucking prick. There's it. There's the whole thing. Yeah, there's a picture. Obviously, Mark's comment isn't in that because it's just a screenshot. But you can see at the bottom there, Mark's thingy. So do you know what I mean? So before he turns around and says he didn't vote on it or it had been changed, he's a lying fucking cunt. There's no he reason. did vote on it. And do you know what? For his reason behind it, fuck knows. Whether it was the score points, we've all done things to try and fit in with the, the crowd. I don't know what way you want to word it. Hello. You uh, hear can you... me? Oh, hey, Wayne. You right, my darling? Yeah, you? Yeah, not bad, sweetheart, not bad. Nice to see you back online, Wayne. Yes, I've, um, yes, it's been a, an eventful month. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't half, but you've kept me up being a buy inbox, haven't you? I've checked in on him all the time, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, um, Wayne. Him and his mum, I always worry about his mum. <laughs> Oh, listen, don't worry about my mum. <laughs> I think your mum would probably take half this half these cunts well, apparently, well, apparently, Lynn Saddleton is coming to my door with a hat. <laughs> oh, can't wait. Are you scared? Hold on. Yeah, Didn't she say she was coming? Didn't she say she was coming to my door a little while ago? Oh, yeah. Probably, she, she probably, she went to fucking Claire Lou's door. Well, it wasn't Claire Lou's door. It was another door and fucking beeped outside. Yeah, that's Fuck how fucking off. hard she is. She's probably listening. Hi, Lynn. Wait there, share L. No, love, that poll's always Shouldn't been about be looking my children. After your kids, wasn't Lynn. the only one. You know, the ones that don't live with you. Well, the only one lives with you. Two seconds. And do you know what, right? Wayne's on my profile, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Wayne, you've seen photos of my kids. Do they look neglected? I don't look at other people's face. I, I've, I don't look at people's Facebook. <laughs> no, exactly. They've got better things to do than go scrolling for two seconds. Not just share them polls. Were always. I don't even look at my own fucking timeline. Let no fucking other people's. You could have backed me up there and said, "No, Lynn's gonna love that." Right, share them. <clears throat> them polls were always about my children. That wasn't the only one. There was another one asking which one got me pregnant. Oh yeah, one. that was the other poll. When you'll remember the polls rightly. Like. Yeah, I Do you remember the whenever Martha w- posted them? There were two of them. I was an admin on. I've never no, been admin, admin on admin. any of Chelsea's pages ever. No, you no. no. They're, they're fucking fit cunts, Wayne. We know you was an admin, and we also know it was a page, not a group. The real world truth, you fit cunts. Fucking hell, couldn't make it up. Are you getting accused of being an admin on that page as well? Well, because it suits their agenda. First of all, oh, yeah, apparently right. I was admin on the Lulu. What was it? Wait, Lulu Poo 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 or something. The Lulu Poo Lou Laura Cooper Poo. The Mossop's page. The polls. That's the one that posted the polls. Yeah, then, it was Moss. That was Mossop. Exactly. And which Mossop admitted to on the fucking Real World Truth page, and they told her she was disgusting. She couldn't make it up. So yeah. we in the UK database. The fake oh, no, one. It's Kevin. One minute it's Kevin, then it's me. Then it was Elaine McCullough. Yeah. Yeah. Then it was Elaine. Then it was you again. Yeah. Then it was someone else. Then it was you again. Who owns it now? Oh, fuck knows. Facebook, <laughs> Facebook own it. <laughs> I've got the Loopy Hindley page, a group that she had that like, Wayne was in. He wasn't an admin, but he, Wayne was in it. Quite a few. Wayne's people. in every group he's a group for. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Actually, I was a mod because before, because you can make you can make people's mods without them knowing. Yeah. Right. So I was. I remember you came to me and said, "Why are you a mod in this group?" And when I found out that fucking bitch had made me mod, I'd gone in there and taken myself off of it. I remember that. That was before the broader M where you had the accept it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It, yeah. This, like this is this is why I've not gone live about it. I've not kicked off because it was fucking years ago. Wayne had told you that it was what three years ago, Wayne. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's, what, yeah, would have been. The only reason it's got been brought up now is because Wes asked me on the stream yard last night, did he 
boat on that pole. So I said, yeah. But then, you know, he thinks it's all right to go lying about it. Don't not Own your shit, Mark. I don't get why people are trying to throw Wayne under a bus when Wayne hasn't even been a bite. Because it's a real war truth, love, and they're obsessed with me, Wayne. Oh, apparently. Yeah. I was supposed to have voted on there as well. Yeah, no, you, no, you didn't. Mark, Wayne, you said, Mark said that he voted. Mark said that he voted. My comment was before Mark's, so how am I supposed to know what Mark had said before fucking he'd written it? Your co- your reply was to Judy Bowers when she said that someone had blocked her. And you said, she said, I'd like to know who's blocked me. And you said, me too, with laughing faces. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're are you getting the blame? Are you getting the blame of voting on this I, as well? I, I said that I, oh, you, you vote. I wouldn't fucking vote in a fucking shit poll like that. What's the fucking matter with these people? What's right with them? Exactly. <clears throat> It's just piss. It's piss. You know, don't belittle that. That what's been done to my kids over the last four years by lying, saying it wasn't about that. Mark, me and you both know it was because that screen. What's was- been done to your kids? What's been done, mine? Just like Jane Noon tried what's to been- tell me that. Do you know Jane Noon tried to tell me that screenshot that I've got that I've had since it was first done, way back when, was edited to say that Mark said he voted. What, 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 you, what annoyed me? Like- what annoys me is that every time, every time you point something out to the real world truth, it's always, well, what about Lulu? Or what about Lulu? What about Lulu? What about, it's like fucking Lulu this, Lulu that. What about Lulu? What about Lulu? Fucking obsessed. Oh, they are obsessed, love. Oh, what about Bible? Look with the Equalizer page. How many posts did you comment on when they were just about me? Like, do you know, apparently, being sober means you have to be an alcoholic. Oh. Huh? Have I ever claimed to be an alcoholic? No. I no. said that I used to take drugs and I used to self-harm. And I have been clean of that for 10 years. The Equalizer page said, I'm not sober because I have a glass of wine sometimes at the weekend. The the one person, because nobody pays attention to those pages, Wayne likes to go and have a wind up. Yeah. Was Wayne that defended me? I don't even know. Me, me, me and Wayne aren't, we're not close friends. We're friends, but we're not close friends. But he knows I'd defend him too. Yeah, I don't even go on them pages, love. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction of me going on them. Cause no, I see. It. Somebody sent me it and I was like, eh? Yeah, why don't you give him the satisfaction of me? I was like, <laughs> was I pissed one day and claimed I was an alcoholic or something? <laughs> Probably. Well, the trouble is, though, the people behind that real truth, which is fucking Kelly Marie, Claire Lou, they're the two main ones. They're the ones moaning at other people's favour while forgetting about all the fucking stuff that they've done. Exactly. Well, love, do you know what Claire Lou and showed us? they say, oh, Claire show Lou. me, show me. Don't need to fucking show them. We've seen it for ourselves. We've got eyes. Love, listen, Claire, Claire showed her true colours when she come onto that stream yard and done the... Um... That, that Louise and that was on when they said about how they was going to make Bo, spread Bo around like raw meat or meat or whatever that really it was. Means, yeah. And she turned around and said they was making a point. Claire's shown her true colours. She's a cunt. She can't complain. No, Louise, whose surname I can't pronounce. <laughs> and then Claire Lou keeps going on about the fact, oh, what's the difference between my daughter and Claire and fucking Lulu's son? Well, Lulu's son doesn't fucking parade himself half naked on fucking Instagram po- fucking posts, does he? No, and well, not lost that's the fucking difference. Instagram, if let's Claire's make daughter, that clear. If Claire's daughter doesn't want her fucking pictures being shared about all over the place, she needs to tell her daughter to lock her profile down. So she obviously, A, hasn't told her to lock her profile down, or two, she's told her, but she hasn't done it. So fucking tough shit. Tough shit. No, do you know what, Boaz, he, he got told. When Chelsea first started his profile, way back when, way back when, when them polls were done, Mark, um, you know, Bo's profiles have been locked down. But, you know, Do you know what? Who? I showed you Bo's profile, didn't I, Lou? And I sent you the profile link, and I was like, is this your son? Yeah. And what was people I may know? I was like, just to let you know, on the outside looking in, it's locked down. I can't see anything. No, it got locked down. I mean, it, you know, people going about our boat coming on that live and called Chelsea a cunt. I didn't say to him, I said to him, because he had to delete his profiles and that's why he called her that name. I mean, he shouldn't have done it, but he was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, his profiles have been not in it. They should, do you know what? Claire's right. They shouldn't have to lock their profiles down. They shouldn't. 
they should they're, no, they're, but they do and that's the point do you know what i mean they do have to unfortunately so it, it should be done do you know it's the same thing as people say that do you know what makes me laugh people say that like wayne lives with his mum do they want to get their fucking facts straight yeah but i listen whether she lives with me or i live with her right i love living with my mum right we you know we don't have a conventional mother-son relationship we're friends as like well, best so... friends yeah nothing wrong with that wayne nothing wrong with that at all love i told you before it's the only the kind of relationship i would love to be able to have listen right but i ain't got a choice mate you stand with me forever so <laughs> just saying hashtag I don't know why I say hashtag before. It, but I know. absolutely love the relationship that Wayne has with his mum. Exactly. Because his mum knows that she's going to be constantly looked after no matter what. I love this. Do you know what it is, right? And I'll come to this conclusion. It's fucking I'm jealousy. Like, yeah, it's, it's, just je- it's just jealousy. It is. It's it because is. all the ones that are complaining about me fucking being a mummy boy and all that, they were fucking, they, they weren't treated kindly by their fucking parents. So they seem to think that fucking all parents, you know, they think, oh, if my parents are capable of being like that, then all parents are, be, are capable. And it's, well, it's, I see it like this. I grew up in foster care, like for severe neglect. I, well, I, I, I myself, I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, but I'd love a relationship like you have with your mum. Like, I don't see it as a bad thing. I see it as a, the kind of mum... Every parent should be. Do you know what? Right, Stacey Smith just said. Um, no, sorry, Lisa Mills just said. I live. I couldn't live with my mum. We'd kill it. That me and my mum are the same. But I love my mum too. I couldn't live with her. But my mum's my world. Do you know what I mean? There's not. The, and it is. I mean, Sanchez when he, he was trying to make excuses for the reason he reported me to social service, he tried to use the, the excuse about him being abused as a child. So automatically that transpires over that. Cause, just because you was abused as a child, that means I'm going to abuse my child. No. Just mm. because he was a victim, it doesn't mean he has to victimise another child. Well, exactly. But yeah, but that's what they do, love, in it? And and the reason he does it, and whether he, not, we all know he's going to say, no, it's not, but just like Mark Chapman, he wouldn't have known about me or known about, it's, they certainly wouldn't have known about my children if it weren't for the likes of Joanne fucking Mossop. Who else? Mark Chapman that? didn't like me very much, did he? Oh, he didn't like anybody, did he? No, I got him called out a fucking, oh, fucking hanger. Fucking loony of a missus of his. Fucking loony tune. He let it slip, sort fucking of. Hell, who, they, bit uh... more, they, they, they bit off more than they can fucking chew, didn't they? Well, when Mark Chapman decided to jump in my inbox, give it a Billy Big Dick, I sent him the, the screenshot of the thing with Bo on it. I was like, you do realise he's underage in that? And he kept denying and denying that you know, he had posted it and whatever. I was like, well, you're a Roman king. And then he let it slip to who uh, sent them it. So I sent everything to Lulu. I was like, there you go. <laughs> you have that. Two se- I'm, just having, a Christmas like, present. I'm just having a conversation with Bo about going to a car because apparently it's too hot, but we're arguing about it. So I'm here, I'm just muting myself. All right, I'm arguing with Bo, but I'll be back. And then as Mrs. Noreen, she jumped in my inbox and we just had a game of bipolar bingo. I won. <laughs> I'm more bipolar than she is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I caught him out just by using his own words. He didn't, he didn't know who Lou's son was when he got that sent to him. I was like, well, do you want to explain that to, to Lulu? That you got that sent to you. You didn't make it. You got it sent to you. Otherwise, you're the guilty party. So, that was his own fucking downfall, wasn't it? I, I, I love the fact that all these people tried to like make Lou to be a really bad person and they just get owned every time. The same as they tried to ruin you and, well, how long did Chinny last? Mm. That's your quickest one, yeah. Oh, we'll be back. He'll be back. He's, he's just licking his wounds at the moment. <laughs> it was funny, though. You could see, you could actually see the tears in his eyes. I was like, go cry, 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 you bastard. 
well, he's lost that. He's lost all that money, hasn't he? That's all he's worried yeah, he's, about. He's still not he's lost thingy in another page. Like they'll not give him stars and subscriptions back when he's lost it off one page. Mm. I don't know how all that works, but I'm nearly sure them's the rules. Bit shit, isn't it? <laughs> well, anything that happens to him now has nothing to do with me. It's you know, if other people are going at him, nothing. Is he to do a with bit me. like better over your NFA or? Do they not like the taste of it? Mm. If anyone see Kev like today, tag me if you choice. I'm fucking staying out of that one if you're on one, Healy. <laughs> I don't know what Kevin done last night, and it's none of my business. I woke up this morning, there. I don't know many messages. Saying that it kicked off on Kay's stream yard last night, but I fell asleep. Fucking hell, how long did that stream yard last? Fuck. <laughs> it was fucking longer than War and Peace, wasn't it? It was fuck, what, fucking seven hours, was it? Something like that, yeah, because I want to say, because Bobby woke about midnight, you know, with the heat and that. So by the time I got her back, it was still going when I was sort of settling her. And I think I got to sleep about half one, and it was still going. Jojo, don't be on your own if you're having a bad day. You know where oh, we all see, are. I'm just looking to see what's going on in um, Shinny's little group. Oh, this is Gail. She sent me a fucking inbox, that Gail Baker. Are you in, like, his thingy group? Talking to him in particular. Yeah, here we go. What can I say? The end of an era. Yeah, I know. And I've only just got here. Oh. So, uh, to all you horrible, horrible, horrible people Who's like this? Who's this? I hope you're happy. I'm always happy. You know how many lies you've destroyed. I'm, I'm always happy. Oh, you've tried to destroy. I'll rephrase that. I hope you realise that the lives that you think you've destroyed, you've not destroyed. Well, then what you wouldn't because do about? This will just make us stronger, mm -hmm. and it'll bring us all together. Yeah, but yeah, we yeah. Will all be well, Fee's already other. fucked off. Fee's fucked and off. We'll all be there for Shinner long after you've disappeared. We mm. will. Oh, did Lazarus fuck off? Shinner. And he will be back. And he will be back. Oh, we know he'll be back. And, he'll be... and he will be back. And he'll be back stronger and stronger than you will ever be. This is Gail Baker. So I hope you're proud of yourself. She's best friend. I hope you're proud of the way oh. you've made thousands of people upset today. Thousands of people. About fucking ten. You've behaved ten people. Go, um, Joe, I'll give you a ring in a bit if you're, that's all right. I don't know. I really don't know I sleep, sleep at night. I sleep like a baby, you thank you. I put my head on the pillow and usually so just close my eyes. Disgusted with yourselves. Somebody's trying to ring her to tell her to get off. Vile, <laughs> oh. But just remember, karma is a bitch. Oh, yeah, we keep hearing and we that. We will be strong. And yeah, we will yeah, stand yeah. Together, and you will fall. Mm -hmm. and fall hard. Yeah. Okay. So but I have a condition now, called hemiplegia, so I, call, I fall yeah. quite a lot. Bye, Gail. So, we've oh, don't, got... don't worry. oh, let's listen to Leanne Griegel or whatever she's fucking called. Oh, she's doing a video of a barbecue. How lovely. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? She's not oh, another human slow cooker, is she? Oh, this is that Sean you know, Oxenbold, when, when the, one that, the one that ripped to a solicitor because I leaked his lies. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. But there's no if you're listening, Sean, you better get that letter again. I'm just leaked your other lives. Oh, is that him that posted the fake letter and he swiftly yeah, yeah, deleted? Yeah. I know, it's an odd. But... Oh, this is Fee Jones. Fuck, she's back from Mama the Mama Jesus. People are feeling pretty long the last live from Shinny. No, I don't. I feel static. And I've got to tell you, this is going to be Mama Wolf's last video oh, on the page. Bye. My heart bleeds purple piss. Because there's too many duplicitous people on mm. this page. Yeah, you're one of them. And I do not wish for Liars. Pretending you're dead. 
Love you too, Hilly. He's had more resurrections than Jesus. Oh, it's a crafting group. What? Witchcraft. Witchcrafting group. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to concentrate <laughs> on looking after the people in there. As Mama Wolf should. Well, fuck so off, then. Well and your recovery. I love you all. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you for getting me this far. Why not for? You take care of yourselves. <laughs> Bye, Faye. See you in heaven. I think we're all enjoying your some your lovely bank holiday. I'm off chainsawing. Woo! Oh, good for you. Oh, Lorna Ashmore. Hi, Sorry about that. Oh, all right. Me about where the pup is. Well, here we go. The one and only Archie and the Kabai. Oh, God. What, what are we doing? What are we listening to? Oh we're, just listening. oh, we're just listening to people from um, Shinny's group. Oh, okay. They're not very, they're not very happy about Shinny not doing his lives anymore. What a shame. Oh, do you know what? He'll, he'll do his lives. It was, that was just, oh, what's he going to do? Do you know what I mean? He's a fucking prick. Well, that John Walton Viking has turned the page into his own personal show. He's fucking going live about ten times a day. Did you hear him say yesterday that... Oh, Lorna you know, again. ...who is new to the site, go live. Oh, lovely. Good for you. Oh, God. I don't know, Lucy, if that's him trying to convince him to well, come back or not. What a few days we've had, eh? Oh, this is Fiona again, Fee uh, Jones. All is good now. All is good. Oh, she said that. Oh, this uh, is on Saturday. Just just to say, really, um, it must be absolutely galling to discover what has been going on the past few days it, it must absolutely be like a slap in the face oh slap you in the face gonna have a little cunt how are you oh, I'm playing on the hey people oh here we go girl baker I'm again I'm just coming on to send a quick message out to James um just to let you know that everybody in Fee's in Fee's group that she's made is nothing to do with Lewis we've we don't condone anything that he's done. We're still 110% behind you. I've not cancelled my subscription because I believe in everything that you do. Mm. You've turned my life around. You've turned lots of people's lives around. We thought that that was going to be an okay thing, what Lewis was doing, but as soon as we found out what was going on... We I can't see people say that their recovery, recovery is their own doing. Oh, enough of that drivel. Like, why can't these people say that fair play to them, their recovery is their own doing? Like, they it, stopped it, it's a drinking or taking substances or whatever. Yeah, I can hear you. It's, like, yeah, no, I mean, it's a, they couldn't hear me, so I just put my earpods in. It just it's makes a cult. me... Wayne was right. Wayne was spot on. It's a cult. It's a cult. Like, That's exactly... Yesterday, you know, or the... It, it's a cult. It's just disgraceful, that is. Like, well, go on. I just, I don't know. Hopefully he stays away. I mean, the best moment had to be when we and trademarked his name. I think I, I, I think he actually had to change me underwear that day. Exactly, Paul. They did it themselves. Like they, they did it themselves, not. I don't know it would have been the connections they had in a peer to peer support group. It weren't a shin he's going to support everyone's support group, it was a peer to peer support group. Our Facebook being special, it's a uh, fucking about the comments, so you just need to swipe them on, swipe them off again. Oh, I've got it up so I can see the because I'm supposed to be the comments and the stream yard. I, I don't need a different device today because I've got. I'm, I'm I'm hosting it. I'm the hostess with the most tests and all that bollocks. <laughs> Shit, unless uh, we don't want nothing to do with it. Oh, go away, go away, go away. Louise, we're always delighted when you lose it. Oh, go away, go away. 
<laughs> no, I'll, do you know what? I love Louise's rants. I fucking, I love, honestly, it's like K rant. I love Louise's rants. I love K rants. Do you know how bad it is? Yeah, it's not me doing it, you see. So it's saying, even like, Louise, yeah, see when Louise on. and K are having the rants, I can have my volume down to the lowest and still fucking hear them. Yeah. Word for word. <laughs> I know. That, that's what I mean. That's why you've got to, that's why you've got to love. It's just like, I love a Gertie rant as well. I really love it. But, you know, a K rant, a Gertie rant, a Louise rant. Yeah, mate. <laughs> you don't even yes, get mate. a Gertie rant that often unless you proper piss Gertie off. We we got Gertie rant on the last stream we had we done because she come in told us all told us all to ignore the real world truth and stuff and told us all off. But she was right, you know. She tells me off a lot. Yeah, I know. But yes, I would never like, any other way. Whenever you shout at me, your accent, like even though we're from more or less the same place. Your accent's so much stronger than mine, so I laugh. <laughs> yeah, but I you can't know help what, right? it's, it's like some other people, when they get the arm, their accent comes out more when they're shouting. Like, like, no, Lorraine funny. tells me off for letting a relevant fucker get to me a lot. And then I laugh because her accent comes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all guilty of it, love, and we're all guilty of letting irrelevant people get to us at some point. I mean, I was guilty of letting the real world truth get to me because they're just pathetic cunt. Right, William Hessels, I'm going to do it just for the point. I'm going to read his comment just because I, I feel like being an arsehole today. Nobody mentioned not looking at a picture before you sent it, or is someone sending an innocent family stalker pic as for a game? No, I read just like they sent an innocent. Just like they sent a picture of my bow and put it on that nonce card, will you? Well, you see on that, that see that member. photo. I'm going to explain it for the final fucking time, right? And That's listen, I will right. speak slowly because people apparently can't comprehend English. I can see you, Sarah, darling. Hello. William said, "Shush, nobody." I had to mention it, otherwise he'd take you to his castle dungeon and torture you. Ooh, that sounds kinky. <laughs> I was say that. <laughs> See, I knew you'd tell me to shush when he thought I was going to go on a rant. <laughs> Do it because I, right, I, now, I have no issues getting, with William. No, uh, w- w- Come on, then, Miss Intellectual, try and justify yeah, come it for on, me. Intellectual, try and justify it for me. Can I justify my bladder movements for you instead? It's much more fun. <laughs> Hi, let's look at number two. So, who aren't we like today? I don't like loads of people, to be fair, Marie. Just saying. I don't like anybody. But there's people I do like. There's See, people I, mean, I do like. But no, this is really? today. It, it was it. It was about you know Mark lying. That's what that was about. I saw more of Mark. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I know he had made the digs and I'd seen it and I stayed out of it because it's not my fight. Well, and I know the reason I stay quiet. You know, is because it was you know, but. No, I mean about the resin digs and things like that. The digs about you doing resin, like, (laughs) that's not my battle, do you know what I mean? You know your choice. Yeah, but but there's no, there's no, you know, there's no need to, there was no need for it. You know, there's other people in this pit that do crafts, not just resin, but they do crafts. Well, I mean, if people want to preach morals... How about whenever people pull me in a chat and throw in my personal problems that I confided in them in my face and brag about it? No, love, no, no one does. But, you know, it's, it's what, well, not no one. Hi, Sa, si, you are. Not really, no. Um, Hi, Simon. Just, hello, you all right? I just, yeah, just, okay. just jump on for two seconds, Laura, if you don't mind. I just a bit, I was a bit concerned about Kay last night and everybody else, and that's why I, I came off the live feed. Like, you know, when I was watching the live 
when everyone's having a go. I was concerned yeah. about Kay. Is she all right? Kay's fine. She's in the comments. Oh, that's all right. I was a bit concerned, a bit rude about that's all, because obviously she... The thing is, I don't want... How can I put it? Um, how can I put it? Um, I want to make two seconds. Two seconds. No, no, Jenny, no. Two no, no. Two, let's play this two play. seconds. Would you... All right. Sorry, two seconds. Sorry, darling. All right, Johnny, no, was problem. you involved in the taking... I didn't know you was involved in that. I was talking about Mark. Was you involved in that giving me shit because I was doing a craft? Steph is now telling you about how we made fun of everything. Do you know what, Johnny? Go fuck yourself. All I've ever done, love, is stand by you. Go fuck yourself. What have I done to you? Just like, what did I do to Mark? What did I do to Jane? What did I do to Rachel? Fuck all. Did I mention Ian? I've names? bought a lot of you, Johnny. Do you know what? Go fuck yourself. Did I? Did I want to mention any names to me? Johnny, there's so much I'm sitting on that I know. What the fuck, Johnny? But because we were friends. I said, fuck off. What about the fact that you made a separate chat without Chloe in it because she was doing your head in because apparently she was suicidal all the time? Oh, God. Do you know Go on, try me. Right. And do you know what? I've got the fucking Ooh. chats to prove it. Do you know, this is what pisses me off, right? Cunts thinking I'm going to jump on the fucking bandwagon. Cunts, all I've ever done is they're fucking back. What do I do to you, Captain America? For you to because make fun thinks... of my resin prices. I never even mentioned the prices. I never mentioned the pieces. I never said fuck all. If you have a guilty conscience, Johnny. And do you know what, right? And the thing is. That's on you. Do you know what, right? People can go on about my resin prices. No one knows how much money I fucking lost doing that because lots of people got it sent to them for free. You've got no fucking... I'll take a right, you've got no. You've got no fucking idea, right? Fuck off, Captain America. Just fuck off, you two-faced, horrible, scummy cunt. Fuck off. Captain America, do me a favour and can you block me? Like, I'm on a ban and won't let me block, but please just take a run and fuck. Thanks. Hello, Kay. Hello. Morning, Si. Hello. So hey, have to go morning, Kay. Hey, Wayne. Listen, America, you piece of shit, right? You fucking two-faced cunt. <laughs> After everybody fucking all making friends and doing that behind people. What's Lou ever done to you, you piece of shit? What a loyal friend. Hang on. A loyal friend. No, wait there. What have I done to you? What did I do to Mark? What did I do to Jane? And what did I do to fucking to Rachel? You tell me what I've done. I've not stabbed anyone in the back, you cunt. Fuck off. And what did, I, what did I what did I ever do to Jane? To Rachel? To Chesie? To you? Do you know to Mark? Steph, two seconds, love. I was a loyal friend to you. What have I ever done? Where have I backstabbed you, Captain America? Where the fuck have I backstabbed you? All I've ever done is have your fucking back. But what about the bully chats? Why are you sitting in the fucking chat slagging me off about what I'm doing? Those why people did nothing to anyone. Me off and joining in with a fucking law as a benefit. I don't even receive benefits. So what, no the fuck in the chat, what the fuck are you in a chat? What the fuck in a chat about her for then, Johnny? Sitting in a shop, if she's your friend and you're in a chat right where cunts are talking about her, if you was any kind of fucking man, you'd just come out the chat. But oh, oh no, no, so you no. was lapping it fucking up as well, then wasn't you? Two faced piece of shit. I don't where have another don't device, but I'm gonna read this out. Give me two seconds, and then I'm gonna start putting my proof out. I wouldn't give them the satisfaction, Steph. You've just shown it just like me off, making fun out of my resin prices. You've just admitted yourself. You just dropped your fucking self in it. Go fuck yourself. Let's, you go fuck yourself. Let's just say. Go fuck yourself. Rachel, go fuck herself. And Mark, all of you, go fuck yourself. Here's a nice message I received off Rachel Jarvis, who was meant to be my friend. So these are the people that don't do anything on anyone. Are you ready? Wait, what we never I, said anyone. What lies <laughs> do I believe in, Captain America? Oh, do you know what, right? The only person I knew that was slagging off my resin pieces was Mark and fucking making digs about it. I didn't know about Rachel. I didn't know about Jane. I didn't fucking know about you. You've just dropped you in it by saying we were sitting in chats 
uh, making fun of Lulu's resin prices. You just dropped yourself in it, Captain. Go fuck yourself. All I've ever done is have your back, you cunt. Just like I have fucking... Go fuck yourself. Can you take a Go. screenshot of that um, comment where he put, please, um, of Johnny Shirt, what he put about that with Lou's resin then? Can I just read out this proof before? Because it's, it's quite long. So I got this in a chat group that I didn't even remember existed, okay? So it was a really... It was an old chat group. And it's from Rachel Jarvis. So tagged my name. Stephanie McMaster. Why did you have to be a sly cunt and throw me under the bus with Lulu? Don't say you haven't, because the only place I've known about Lou and others are in chats. Guilty conscience much? Lou, have I ever sent you anything? No, you haven't. Nothing. Thank you. What exactly I have I done to you and one other person for you to send people what I said in a chat? Rachel, do you know what, right? Before, you know, you know when you got kicked out of Groove Gang, not that it was me... You jumped on fucking Steph. I hadn't spoke to Steph for weeks. I hadn't spoke to Steph for fucking weeks. Be a grown-up and get in my inbox right now because I am human. I have never done something so sly and nasty. Oh, I'd have never done, sorry. Don't ever think I won't find shit out because I will. You're no better than the rest. I've never added anything you other guys have said. Because what was done before Christmas, you know, when Chessie Blundell was going at me saying, I take gaga meds, I have mommy issues. You know, the stuff that I could out. I've defended you, no you haven't, and others, and had your back. I'll be a sneaky cunt and go tattletale like a schoolgirl. You'll see what I say in chat. I have zero issues repeating it to the person. Don't ever say shit. Don't ever, ever shit on people who have had your back, you ungrateful bitch. And yes, I'm angry at this point. So, then in the, the chat that it was in, hang on, just to find it. Chessie replied, are you shocked, Rachel? No, I'm not shocked. The sly country's behavior is disgusting. Must be a very sad life screenshotting what people say and saying it to use against them. But like you, I've no need to hide. Some people need to get over the fact that we're in the wrong instead of trying to be something they're not. Hashtag, you will never be me. Gutless wankers, don't try and use my words to gain brownie points because I have no issue with telling people. But just remember what some of you have said. Short memories, lol. Karma's a bitch and it's coming. Then I got tagged repeatedly again. Is... And I'm blank on my partner's name. I still having secret messages with his mistress. Me and my partner had up fallen out in January. I'm going to work for it. I hear he was sick and tired of you being on Facebook 24-7 and being your carer. So I've been told. So mock up my disability. I fall a lot. I fell down my stairs. I suffered a mini stroke last year. Oh dear. And I haven't been right since. Oh really? After she reveled in my ex-partner's death. This was Chessie's reply. She had the perfect light. I never reveled in somebody passing away. Okay. Okay. I know, Chess. Not as perfect that she makes out. People in glass houses shoot and throw what stones. Doing? What she did to you was bad. How many what sympathy cards did you get for things? your birthday? With all your comments on lives, counting down to your birthday. I was excited for my 30th birthday. Shoot me. How many sympathy cards did you receive? Oh, shit, sorry, I meant birthday cards. Epilepsy sucks balls. Dig at my epilepsy. Do you know the same condition that nearly killed me? When it's, my fucking heart disgusting. it's fucking disgusting is what it is. Also, uh, right, can I just clarify something? I'm on the waiting list to be sterilised. The day I got this next message was the angel, the, the day I lost my baby three years ago. Also, Steph, is it true that you want another baby with your partner so he doesn't leave you? Fucking and no. your friends aren't fine? Fucking hell. Your friends aren't fine? That's disgusting. Sick. Fucking I shouldn't sick. even be alive now. Oh, bless you. I won't give him the satisfaction, um, Steph. I wanted to fucking die. Oh, I would rather take my own life than have this bollocks going on. Steph, you know something, darling. 
we all have you listen we've all been shit on with certain people at certain times right unfortunately you have to get you have to just like i've always said you have to shovel through the shit first darling unfortunately to get I to the go people. through these comments just because i owe a few people an apology and i am seriously going to own my shit while i'm here jade beachy i am extremely sorry for how you were treated Jade Beatty was trailed trailed into a bully chat and I was in it and I am so so sorry, Jade. Well I didn't bully her, but I was worried for her well being. And it was it, it turned wrong and I apologize. And I hope you're well. I hope you and your boy are well. Do you know what chat in America? It's not a bit of harmless fun, is it? I've not sat in the chat slagging off what you do. Have I sat in this chat slagging off? Where have I accused your friends of doing evil things, Captain America? What are you talking about? The poll. Do you know what I show you the poll? That your friend, your brother, on a poll asking which child I sexually abuse more. Do you see that that your friend done? Come on, Johnny. Let me show you what your friend done. Let me show you. Jade, I am so, so, I really am so, so sorry for everything that you were put through. Which child does Laura sexually abuse more? Right? There you go, Captain America. This is the evil shit. And then let me get the comments up and show you what your man said. Someone said who voted on it. Turn on the cunt of a fucking iPad. William, do you know what the thing was? These friends are meant to be, these people were meant to be my friends. The actually voted on this poll. Mark Pickford, I voted. I don't know about your fucking mates and how fucking good they are, Captain America, when they don't fucking, fucking deserve it. I've literally been pushed to the point that I'm under psychiatric again. Because, see, when you have emotionally unstable personality disorder, mm-hmm. see, abandonment, Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a trigger. And what did every fucker do when I needed them most? They fucked off. Steph, you fucked off. Alone, well, I'm there. not going anywhere, Steph. Steph, I'm not going anywhere. If so I'd have you... known any of these, Steph, I'd have been straight there for you. Yeah. I knew none of it up until recently. None of I it. Know, I, look, I get I just... blocked for being a loyal person. I get fucking treated like shit. And do you know what? I'm supposed to take it because of who I associate with. Ain't my fucking problem. Read Jade's comments. It was yeah. awful. I had the police rang on me the lot by Ches and Mark saying I'm not a fit mum. You know, Stephanie, what I've been through. That's fucking all right. I'm, oh, God. Uh, and you know what? It's true. Right. I just, I just care to say, as long as I just wanted to say if Kay was all right after last night. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel great. I've got it all off my chest now. It needs fucking doing. Right. Because uh, I was quite, quite not, well, yeah, quite upset last night with hearing that, you know, what you're going through and what have you. And now I'm upset even more what Steph's going through now and Laura. So I just, I've oh, never geez, let, no. Thanks very much, ladies. You're making my day even more depressed. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> you know I'm always all right. I just, I tried to contact right, you. Sorry, I, don't, I, did, don't about I did ring you. All right. I, I did ring yeah, you. Yeah, I know. So I will, I will give you the tinkle later, sweetheart. Right, you can tinkle on me as much as you like. Louise, I'm not being funny, oh, Louise. Why? I, I heard that, that you were all as bad as each other on that side, so I'm not commenting. I don't know. I'm, I'm not getting into it. This shit has gone on too long. And, you, and unfortunately, sad. this is just my opinion, you'll never, it's never going to stop. And that's so sad because they're enjoying yeah, it too I'm, much. They and are. Totally they're just, they're yeah, gonna they stop. are enjoying it too much, and they're sadists. And they don't understand the pain what you're going through, Steph. And they don't understand the pain Laura's going through. And they never and they have no how could I put it? They have no loyalty. Do people not know what it's like to live as a thirty year old woman. The thing is, Steph, right? Fuck very all, Ill. fuck all, independence. They're ill themselves, and that's very sad. At least you can say and stand up very bravely and say, "I have problems in my life, my personal life." And you said it very bravely, and I think I'll salute you for that. But these little yeah, cretins, these cretins are ill, and they're, they're scared to say it. Just imagine that lifestyle. How That's why they attack people, because they're so scared and so insecure about themselves. 
and because society has never wanted to give them the voice from day one. And unfortunately, Facebook has given them the voice to target people and to hurt people. They are sadists, and that's just my opinion. I'll rest it there. I'll, I'll give you all a um, good afternoon to you all, and hope you enjoy your afternoon. I hope you're all safe and well, Steph. Your inbox is open if you want to talk to me openly about your problem because I know exactly what you're going through, all right? Hey, to love you. All right. And that goes for anybody, all right? I and, I'll never say, anybody. and I'll never out any information, even though these trolls have called me last name and what have you, and they're still in I've me. sat on all of this from before Christmas. I get death threats. I was going to say, you've been through loads, haven't you? You know what I mean? So you've been through shit loads. I got a death threat on Saturday, Saturday the 15th by some Stop. Scottish idiot, right, who said I was posting his daughter up. And that's because Wes was posting his daughter up and she went because she was following Peter Green, or it still is. And he death threatened me. He said he's going to cut my throat. Thank God. And I can show anybody that. They said he's going to cut my throat and, and he kept saying it twice and how he's going to come round to my house. You're more than welcome to come round to my home. Because you can't Dude, find I'm me. not going to lie yet. You did ring me all the time crying and it got a bit overwhelming because your medical condition, I don't have an understanding of. All right. And that's genuinely a fault no. on my you're not, look, you're not a fault. My part. Look, you we're don't. all fucking misfits at the end of the fucking day. But what's no, next? Did I work? call Mark a pedo, though? No, I didn't. Because no, it is but you know what next to work, Jeff? These are people that were supposedly friends. It's different when you're going at Shinny or people that you don't fucking know. But when it's people that you've been around for years, like we've all been around, okay. it, it stings that little bit fucking more. Do you know what I mean? Johnny, I never, I didn't know that Mark was called a pedophile last night. I wasn't there. I'd went to bed. Mm. I would it's never accuse somebody of being a paedophile when I was raped myself. No, oh, love, listen. It. If you want to talk, Captain to in America, right? Don't it's all immature. We're not the ones in fucking chat slagging people off who's supposed to be our friend. Right. What Ladies. about voting on polls about my children, Donnie? So I'm like, Two seconds side. What about Mark voting okay. on polls about my children asking which one got sexually abused more, Captain America? What have I ever done to you? What what did I do to Mark? What did I do to Jane? What did I do to Rachel? Do you know what? Even after everything, when Rachel cried in that stream the other night, I was in a room asking she was right. And she hasn't even had the fucking decency to reply to the message and say thanks. I don't want everyone to speak to her because you're a kind of thanks anyway. What's my you know, don't sit here talking about it being fucking immature when you're sitting in this in the chat with horrible, nasty cunts lagging people off who's done nothing but have your back. Fuck off, you Remove yourself. And I am so sorry, Johnny, if all of this has upset you because you've done nothing on me. But if you're gonna back them when I've well, sat and put my proof out, that says more about you than it does me. Exactly. Right, I'm going to go anyway, people. Enjoy your afternoon and enjoy your nice son. You know, enjoy your families as well. I know you will. All right, All right. Sorry, Steph, darling. Sorry, sorry, Steph, sorry. Stephanie, sorry, Stephanie if you want to talk to me, you're more than welcome to. You know that. All right, it's always open your inbox. All right, I don't have the answer for everything, but I'm willing to listen to anybody. All right. See Johnny, you I week. went to bed when my, my little one woke up. Uh, do you know what? It's obviously really, really warm at the minute. Obviously, she wasn't coping with the heat last night, the baby. And I was up until about half half one. And I fell asleep about then. Ish. So I didn't hear Mark what? being called a people. I'd have been the first to jump and say that's fucking wrong. Do you know what? No, the thing is, right? No one's allowed to call Mark a name. And no, he shouldn't have been called a fucking pedo because he's not right. But it's he's right not a pedo guy. On, on things calling me. No, he's not, love. But it's a right for him to sit there calling him a benefit cheat and slagging me off, eh, Johnny? And as for you, loved us all. You, do you know what you don't? Do you know what? None of you cunts know what fucking law is. None of you cunts know what love is. If you lo I'd love and love if you wouldn't sit in private chat slagging them off. You wouldn't let your friends attack people that have done nothing wrong. You fucking cunts, a lot of you. Go fuck yourself. I'm done with I you, really, America. Really, really, really really look, fuck off. I looked up to a lot of these people. And anyone else that's associated with Mark Pickford, fucking Jane and all of you, remove yourself from my fucking friends list. Fuck off. All of you. Go away. Don't ever touch me again. I'm so sorry, sorry. to talk to me on really your stream yard, 
I didn't even mean that to happen. No, I'd be sorry. Like, I really never. I just well, I've had a little bit of a blocking what? today. I've blocked all the fucking cunts. I've blocked Mark. I've blocked you, Chloe. I've blocked you, Jane. And I've blocked you, Rachel. Because I cannot fucking fathom out. Stay out my inboxes, right? I cannot fathom for the fucking life of me what you're all fucking playing at. Can't believe it. Do you know what? There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Do you know what? Mark shouldn't have been called a paedophile. But do you know what? That's the difference between us and then Captain America is that we can we'll quite happily stand up and say when we think something's wrong. Where have you been? To say, but do you know what? You sat in the chat and you took the piss out. Do you know what? There's something that kept me sane, right? That kept me sane, that kept me out of trouble, that kept me while my children were being fucking attacked. False reports are being made. Social services. This kept me going and you started trying to mock it, saying I'm making all this money when I'm not and I'm, on, I'm a benefit. Fucking benefit cheat. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, Captain we're, America. We're all of them. When malicious reports go fuck in. yourself. Uh, Jasmine, Lula, who, 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 who stood up and put a, a counter complaint in against Sanchez's report without being asked? You. Hiya. You did. That, I you. did. With you my did. name, my Hello. address, my phone number, and I spoke to the police, and they agreed he's an unhinged cunt. None of the rest of the rest. No, I've been in America. I've been in America in the last couple of weeks. Don't, do you know what? Do you know, no, Captain America, you must be, you must, you, you're blind. I sent you all the screenshots of Mark attacking Michelle. I call me a benefit of him sitting on a live slagging, slagging me off. I'll send you more. Don't tell me that I've not been attacked by your mate because I have. You never, it's funny how people never hear any of them words, isn't it, Captain America? All I've ever done is like, fuck you, you don't love anyone. Do you know what? Because you wouldn't sit in a chat slagging us off, which you've openly admitted by saying we're taking the mick out of Laura's resin prices. Go fuck yourself. Hi, guys. Sorry. Hello. I just, how you going? Oh, okay. and, uh, I just wanted to pop on because I know I'll get some support off you. Um, I want to say what I went through, if that's all right. I've been waiting for this for a long time to do it. Cracker. I will. Tr- I will say this is a trigger. If you don't, if you can't handle Jasmine, it, Jasmine, Jasmine, this, this is public. Love. No. All them cunts can hear this. This is public. I don't care because the thing is, what they're doing. about to what me, you're doing. I am doing. I know, but it's been. It's with the police and that. But I will have to say what I've got to say. I was trolled like hell, and I don't even know why. I got blamed for some sort of status that went up. That wasn't me. I got called all sorts of things. I've had it put up there that my gang rape was fake, that it was an orgy that went wrong because it wasn't on the internet, because it wasn't on the papers. My name was different then. It's not what it is now. I changed my name to be safe, and they outed my real name. Jazz, what you've been through has been disgusting, darling. Absolutely disgusting. You know, and then to be sorry, I'm a bit upset because (coughs) I've waited to do this for a long, long time and nobody knows how much it has affected me. Right? I was accused of putting my son in a dog cage and made him watch me have sex with all these men. (laughs) I'd like to know who all these men were. I've been accused of sexually abusing my son. Terrible. I've been accused of starving my son. I was accused of making my son sleep on the landing. Bearing in mind, just a trigger warning here, my son is a victim of a stabbing. That is in the papers. You can look up the name Stephen Frog with a double G. It's all there. It's all out there for to see. Now, this was put down as it was, again... A fake. I accused this guy of this uh, uh, supposedly attacking my son for attention to be a victim. This said person that said that saw all his stab wounds, all nine, even the ones in his skull. All of them. She's seen them. 
Oh, God, Jazz, right, I'm like... Said, and said I faked it, and Stephen Frog got Frog away got with away it. With it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> also, um, when I was being abused by my granddad from the age of 6 to 13, apparently I enjoyed it. I let him do it because I was getting attention. I mean, that's that's just beyond sick. I had social services around my house. I had police around my house all the time. I had bloody well, I had my mobility took off me because apparently I was scamming the system because I didn't really get raped and have my back kicked in and I'm using a wheelchair and sticks. Yeah, we've been on lockdown. But before lockdown, I've left my house about 11 times because I don't want to go out of my home, right? Also, my son is petrified to go to school. He's in three counselling sessions a week because he thinks now, because they've outed my address where we're supposed to be safe, that Frog is going to come and find us and finish the job off and do the extra job of doing me. Do you, nobody has any idea how frightening that is. This is this is life. This is real life. This is a child that was four years old and stabbed nine times, beaten to death near enough, nearly had his head cut off, thrown downstairs and out the door and left to die. And they've gone and made him feel petrified to go to school to go out to play because he thinks frog is now going to come and get him because our, our address is out and my real name is out and that's oh, really. caring Jasmine, about Jasmine, people just can i to make something clear this isn't about mark or mark or james this was angie boocock and shes mallon that's who this was it was that they were in the community it was angie boocock and shes mallon it's nothing to do with mark and jane I did I nothing. To make that I did I'm nothing to day. these people. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And she befriended me again when everybody was like calling me names and things like that. She befriended me again. I put up a status on my Facebook page and it wasn't aimed at her. It was aimed at somebody else. It's got absolutely nothing Sorry, to do with her. Jazz, Jazz, darling, listen, I'm going to interrupt one minute. You know I'm here for you. I'm going to have to jump off this live because it breaks me. Every time I hear your story, it breaks me. So I'm so I'm darling. Jump off. No, you haven't. I have, listen, to, I have to get it out. Sorry to I, me. I know, no and you should get it out. It's just that I are just, I'm not good with words. And I'm going to go in the comments and I'm going to leave you with Lola. I think Steph's backstage, Lola. And I'm just, you know how oh, sorry I am, Jazz, that you had to go through all that, sweetheart. Nobody in this fucking world deserves that. Anybody. Right. No, they don't. Do that's that. why I'm staying quiet long because it's heartbreaking. You know I'm here. Okay. No, thank you. Love you. And the thing with the yeah, with the thing with the angel babies again, right? Two Betty seconds. Turned, never done, no. Betty turned around and said, "Oh, I'm ah oh, playing the victim again because I have an angel baby and I lost her when I was six months pregnant." And she said, "Playing the victim again. That hurts. I've never forget about her. That little baby. You know, these people don't realise that this is real. This is real shit. This is real life." You have affected a child from age nine up till now, and he he's petrified. He's only 13 now, and he is petrified. He's now letting his anger out. He's punching walls. He, I'm having to deal with it. I have got to pick up the pieces that I prepared. I've got to pick it all up again now. Can you imagine what it's like being 13 years old and frightened to death, thinking someone's going to come back and finish the job off? After going, you know, doing a fifteen-minute frenzy of stabbing you to death, practically. No idea. You, you know, you. Everybody says, "Oh, you play victim. You play victim." Well, I'm sorry, but if you keep doing this kind of crap, yes, we will be victims. We will never mend. We will always be victims if you just don't leave us alone. All this has to stop. It is. It's affected people's lives. I. At one point last year, well, not last year, well, the year before, when was it, uh, Lou? Um, 
Was it last year or year before? I was in the bedroom oh, and I, so I'd had me. enough. I heard, I was listening in on people arguing and arguing. Do you know what? I smashed a wine bottle up in my bedroom here and I got to, I was going to come on live and put it in my throat because I'd had enough. Had enough. And I was thinking, if I do this, it will stop them and then my son will be safe. Because if they can't go for me, they can't go for my son. And it took a copper three hours to talk me down from doing it. Yes, I did end up in hospital. Yes, I did end up on the, you know, for psychiatric help. But wouldn't you, after going through all that? Constant Casper, Casper, that hurt. That really hurt. And I went through this while my mum was dying. Just stop it. Just stop it. Just people, just stop it. A real child is now too frightened to go out of his bloody door. And they've done that to him. Nobody else. He feels more victimised now than the actual stabbing. Because you're putting him back there every time. Every time you're picking on kids. This traumatises kids. This is this sometimes this could actually be worse than being abused sometimes. You, when you're mentally abused, it's stuck in there. I was physically abused as a child from six to thirteen. I moved on from that, but physically, for mentally, you know. Now you damaged my son. These people have damaged an innocent child that was already fighting to be a normal child in society and he will never be that now because he is so conscious of his scars on his head his scars in his spine he is petrified thank you angie boocock and shes mother for doing that because you have put him at high risk i hope you're proud I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to argue no more. You can slack me off as much as you bloody well like because at the end of the day, I know the truth. I know what went on. And I know it was nothing to do with Lulu or Lisa. I know it because we've spoken. And yes, us three had a hammer in out. And by God, we called each other awful, awful names. And we all ended up having a good cry on the phone. But we sorted it like adults do. They had no idea what went off. They weren't didn't know didn't even know what you two were up to behind their backs. You've ruined a child. I, I've been through it. I've been through enough. I've been through what I've been through, but I've got to stand on my two feet that's left. It. I've got to look after my child to make sure he becomes a better person than any of you will be that's done this to him. Hang on, I've got a call. I'll let you take over for a minute. I'm just going to keep quiet. How do I mute? Just press the mic. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, love. I'm muted. Just make it clear. This was Angie Bucock and Shez Mallam. Cheryl Mallam. Nothing to do with Shez Blundell, Tilly, or anyone else. It was Angie Bucock and Shez Mallam. It's just highlighting. Hi, everybody. It's my leech. Um, it's just Sorry, highlighting. Sorry, that was my oh, occupational God. therapist. I think what with Jazz coming on, I think it's just highlighting that how dangerous it is when children are brought into arguments. Um, I agree. It's got to stop. I mean, you know, Luke, we've been we've been trying for three weeks or more to put a stop to this, and Steph. Um, I don't know what to say. I knew things weren't good, but I didn't realise you were that bad. And I'm sorry. In case, Why are you saying I, sorry for <laughs> Because I've, we've always got... Around, this is the issue I've got. See, everybody everybody assumes when we're on Facebook that oh, they're just a name, just a nobody. But I am like everybody else here. I actually care about the people who I talk to. And we've always spoke, even before, you know, your little one was even born. And, and you know, you've always met and me. Sorry, two occasion. seconds, Mel. Mel. Yeah. Mel, two seconds, darling. I'm a woo. Do people learn from the likes of Kate your words? What, what, what words have I said they're breaking? Fuck off, you cunt. You've got no idea. Go and tell that to the actual people that are attacking me. Go and 
tell that to the actual people that have been nasty cunts. Because I'll tell you what, I've got no patience for cunts like you. Fuck off. You get blocked. See you later, Can cunts. You Bye. Sorry, carry on, love. Oh, it's all right. And it's just, and I think this is the issue that we've all got. We all actually care and we're all loyal and we don't want to see what I class is. Not Facebook, you know, acquaintances. They are actually friends. We actually don't have to go on Facebook. We can actually pick the phone up and we can actually talk to somebody and have a, you know, have a really good chat. But then you've got the other people that it's just a source of sick fun. And this is why people are going in. It. Oh, Dave, I don't know what I've missed. If that's you, Danny, I don't know what I've missed either. I'd, I'd come in late. I was, um, I only come on because I just don't like seeing my friends here. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you, that's Danny, I think. I think what's happened, Danny. Mark Pickford's a lying cunt telling people the goal he poted on, asking which one of my children got sexually abused more apparently was changed eight months later, lying cunt. And then we've got the likes of Captain America, who's a two faced backstabbing cunt. Just saying. Sorry, love, I want to snap at you. I hope you and I simply and proved him wrong that his friends are absolute shit cunts and they put me through hell for ages. And I sat and said nothing because good old Steph, she deserves it, doesn't she? No, you don't. Uh, and to Johnny, I mean, I don't know Johnny very well. I've always got, I've always liked, you know, seen him around Facebook. But what I will say, Johnny, is, and it's a lot of us, we haven't known what's gone on, but a lot of us have seen this nitpicking at uh, Lou, Steph, uh, uh, Lorraine Kelly. We've all seen it for weeks and we're all sat, sat there scratching our eggs. And Kay. We've all sat there scratching our heads thinking, what the fuck's going on? I'm you know, fine, this has been going on. Honestly, I'm fine. This has been going on for weeks, this nitpicking, and it's got to stop. You know, at the end of the day, I think they've made it quite clear that they don't like us. Oh, that's fine. But you know what? I'm adult enough to know that I, they, they're not going to affect me anymore, and I don't want them to affect my friends either. I just want to say if I've triggered anybody or made anybody cry, I do apologise. But it, it, it's been a long time waiting to come out. Captain America, come on, defending I mean, Mark, basically. Johnny, I had no issue with you, so I don't see why you come on and jumped at what I was saying. And I have the proof that you want it in your inbox and I will show you. Johnny, I don't know what your issue is. I'm sorry, I have come in the conversation. It's me, late. Steph, um, Mel, and I don't know who else. You know but... what, Captain America, loved you too, love, and all I've ever done is have your back. Right, go and check my, your inbox my and you can see just a, just a few of the digs that you're making. Yes, it is, Jeff. Thank right, you. Go, go and check your inbox, Steve, and go, then, then you can see just a few things your mate's been giving me out about. And what, what did I do to him? Absolutely fuck all. Fuck all. And then you sit on there and say, it's Steph telling you that well, he was all making fun of your resin prices. Go fuck yourself. Because you know what? People that do resin, how fucking expensive it is. Uh, I genuinely have never actually spoke about anyone in Lou's inbox. If I inbox Lou, it's asking about her, Bo, and her other son. I mean, it's no, like people are attacking Lou for doing her crafts. People are attacking Lou for doing her crafts and that. I got attacked for the same thing. Don't you realise that people that are poly, disabled, or have mental health issues or like that? This is actually therapy for us. This is actually true therapy for us. And you'll find that the people that have gone through this much and everything actually don't really want to be paid for it. A lot of my stuff I, took, I put to charity. And the, if you look at the prices of that were going fuck. out, pardon? But the prices that were going out and things like that, it doesn't, it didn't even cover Lulu's stuff or even my stuff. It's just because we wanted to do it, but keeps our minds busy. Do you know what? I've given away a lot more than I've charged for. Whenever I've charged, I've never made a fucking profit. So you just go share how much you know, Mark. 
And we finish and Rachel. It made me tickle when he's like, oh, because Jazz gave her stuff. I've got a whole small bedroom packed with stuff. If anybody turned around and said, do you have this? Do you have that? I'd happily give it because it's what I, that's me. I've given Lulu loads of stuff. We've done a swap seize, basically. Is that a crime? No. I don't understand what it, it is, has it to is do with anybody. It is flagging America. Because Mark decided, Mark decided he had a problem with me for fuck knows whatever reason. I wasn't on when Mark was being called a pedo. But do you know what? After the stuff he's been saying about me, you expect me like after you've got, can you go and check your inbox, Captain America? Because do you know what? What an, another person that's blind and doesn't actually know can't see the wood for the trees. Go and check your inbox, love. All I'm saying is you just like other people. All I've ever done is have your back. That's what I've done. You can sit in chats. Whether you're joking about it or not, go fuck yourself. I mean, sure, I, 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 just I, I mean, I don't know if Captain. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Captain America, but I don't know if you've heard what I've just said and everything. All this bickering, calling each other paedophiles and things like that. Listen to what I've just said and think about what real life in does to children. Now, the thing is, even if you don't, if if even if your child isn't in the same position as my child or anything like that, your children will pick up on what's going on. They don't have to be around to see it. They will pick up on it. You will try and hide your feelings. You will try and hide your emotions in front of your kids to protect them. Kids aren't stupid. They will pick up on things and it hurts them to see their mum or their dad falling apart because they're supposed to be strong for them but when you're being at every single day mocked for this mocked for that mocked for your look mocked for the if you were personally in someone's life and you knew them 100 percent, you then can judge but you only know a person on here by a video call or by a voiceover on a live stream like this you don't know that person you don't know what's actually going on in their life behind the behind the scenes you have no idea but people attack each other people are starting to kill themselves over this kind of stuff i was happily going to put myself on cam and slip my throat open for it to stop grown-ass adults i'm a 50 year old woman you know i've been through hell and back in my life as well as many of other people stop it just stop it because someone one day will come on alive and will hurt themselves. That bloke that came on Facebook not so long ago, remember, blew his brains out because he got bullied and bullied and bullied. Do you want to see that again? Well said, Danny. Well said, Danny. He's tip for tap. Just well stop fucking it. Said. Kids, kids are kids are our future. We're gonna do fuck it up for them. Christ's sake, they're precious little souls and you're supposed to be looking after them. Not bloody tearing rips out of their parents for their parents to fall apart and see the, and, and their children to see that and then you destroy their little souls as well. Sorry, my occupational therapist phone, she's bringing me out my, my crutches so I can start getting out and about again. I, I've said what I've needed to say and I'm so glad that me and Lulu and Lisa and Steph the other day rang me yesterday. I'm just glad that that bridge has been built and you can start trusting each other again. I All only done what anybody all... else would do when they've seen somebody struggling but and I thought that something bad would I know, happen. darling. But all it takes, if you've hurt someone or done something wrong by someone and you've done it out of anger or whatever, pick up the bloody phone and apologise and be sincere, build the bridge, move on. If you don't like each other, don't contact each other. Block it. You don't have to take this shit. You don't have to deal with this kind of shit. But one thing I will say, do not hold it in for years like I have because it's ruined my son. That's why I've come on here. Not ruin me, because I'm strong. I've been through, and I've sat across a murderer in court for four hours, and I watched him. I didn't take my eyes off that bastard one minute. You know? When you've done that yourselves, then come and fucking moan to me. 
and I'll put you right. Because I tell you what, no parent, no parent should see their kids suffer, whether it's having to see their parents suffer because of this bullshit, or whether they are hearing it, or whether kids are being attacked with a knife to their exactly, throat. Exactly, Jojo. Things like that. There's Joanne Stewart. Has <laughs> had her social services phone on her. That was disgusting. Well, it's all disgusting, no matter uh, what's happened to any child. It, it is all it, disgusting. Disgusting. It's just, just stop. Just, just get it out of your systems. Sort it out. If you don't like each other, go your own ways. It's as simple as that. There's a button on here that goes block. I've but used that. I like that button. If, if, if you are targeted or whatever... And your people, that you're supposed to be your friends, they should be around you. I fought this crap for four years on my own. I was being attacked in every bloody group going. I was on my own. But you didn't knock me down. No, you tried to take me down, but you didn't take me down. You took my son down, you bastards. 13-year-old boy that's a victim of attempted murder, and you've ruined his soul. Not mine. I hope you're sitting there proud of yourselves. Because I'll tell you what, if that was me, I'd be ashamed. Oh, Danny. I've said what I've needed to say. I'm just glad I've got my friends back oh, again. Oh, Danny, come with luck. I'll speak send to you Danny later. love, Lisa. Send Danny love. I'm Danny's well. been in a really, really crappy place. And... I haven't read the comments. I'm sorry. Right, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad Steph's got her bit out. I'm glad you got your bit out, Joe. So let's stop now because it's upsetting people and I don't want anyone yeah, else. Yeah, I'm going now. I'm but glad you both Sorry I've upset obviously. everybody, but this has been a long right, time darling. waiting. But thank you for letting me get it off my chest, Lou, and support That's all right, me love. anyway. I shall speak That's to you right, later. Darling. Love you guys. All right, sweetheart. Love mm -hmm. you, darling. Bye. <sighs> what are you making now, Annie? You might the candles. That's the real... I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not even doing candles at the minute. I mean, well, I made a, a mug for Wes last night. <laughs> Do you want to see the mug <laughs> I made for Wes last night? I'm doing subject. <laughs> Go. You know, wait there. Where's Wes? I thought it was fucking hilarious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big idea of what it's gonna say. <laughs> oh, it's a leg it like Leg it like <laughs> 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 you weren't impressed. Oh. Oh, I was pissed. I'm, I'm, I was waiting. I was literally pissing myself, and I showed Wes, and he really weren't impressed. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> was he not? But was he not impressed by his um, ginger salad? I've got to take it at work. <laughs> oh, and someone in comments made that. I mean, comments had that suggestion, right? Because I didn't know what to put them. We were just going to put legged lads. And I'm like, our souls, but souls as in, because people say like, just don't have souls, didn't they? But <laughs> I thought, you know, for me. See, like, when you say it with, like, where's his accent? It's even funnier. Like, you can picture yeah, him saying no, that. Yeah, with accents, as everyone knows. I'm absolute cack with accents, as everyone knows. Do you know what I mean? But see, honestly, all the crap. Yeah, it just all um, needs the uh, <laughs> Justin Ginger. Uh oh, I've upset Justin Ginger. Sorry, uh -oh. Justin Ginger. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to don't... say that gingers don't have souls. Don't ducky decoy us. He does need to stop, Joanne. I totally agree, love. But unfortunately, love, I'll, do you know what? I wish he would stop. But we, we, as long as you've got the likes. Of Joanne Mossop and Mark Pickford. <laughs> I'll deal with Paddy Mac in a minute. Do you know what I mean? As long as you've got the works in there, there's always going to be someone shit stirring, darling. So unfortunately, this shit is never. I've got nothing more than to be able to stay away from this shit. Nothing more. Than I'm as sorry as I, as I, Paddy as I Mac. have to agree. It, it's never going to stop. No. Paddy Mac. It, I, I'm, I'm, doctors told me I'm not allowed to do resin anymore because they, they, they called it chemical burns. I'm under orders. Where's this hairline? Has it been never going to stop? Pardon? 
Where's his hairline? It has its own postcode these days. Yeah, it's never good. Oh, do you know what? I've not seen it. Like, I've not video called Where's for. I couldn't even say anything about that from the stream we had last night. This is the last time we met me and was had a conversation. <laughs> you know, but I just, it, it's never going to stop. Why, why you got the likes of Mike Pitt for no reason? Well, let's face it, right? What, what have I ever done? What did I do to him? Nothing. And he started on me for nothing. But there's no double stand. Do you know what I mean? There, there's no reason for it. And then got Captain America going, thinking he's right to sit in a chat slagging whether you see it slagging or not. I see it slagging Captain America, especially when someone's meant to be a friend of mine. Right, you're no friend of mine. Um, you know, slagging your what is it to go along with there? But get down, you bastard, to go along with the you know. No, you haven't ever done anything, Joe. And what's been done to you is fucking disgusting, love. I wish I could help Jojo. I really do. Justin wants a mug. Get down, you bastard! You, I swear to God, right? You're gonna fall out, Bertie. Sorry. I was gonna say, was that Bertie or Bertie? (laughs) Bertie. I was gonna get that new curtains, but the bastard keeps using the tiny thing, and so I'm waiting. (laughs) I don't know what's gonna be till he grows out of it, but I'm not buying new curtains until he stops doing that. Anyway, so but yeah, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna. I, I'd love it to stop, Joe, just like you'd love it. Well, to stop. it's not like, gonna stop because if it's not Lulu, it's gonna move on to someone else down the line, and down yeah, the line, yeah. and the cycle's gonna continue. And, and that's all it does do. It continues and continues and continues. And continues. Do you know what I mean? That's all it does do. Exactly. Do you know what mm-hmm. I think is a lot. Circle stand right now. You know, I didn't. I genuinely thought the world of Captain America. I mean, all I've ever done is defend him, and he thinks it's all right to sit in a thing and you know another one that's that can't see the wood for the trees and can't see what their mates are doing as well. Your boy is Joanna. They're amazing, her kids, and she's an amazing fucking mother. As she does what she does every day, don't they? You could make a patty paint. <laughs> Patty, nobody wants to see your pain. I'm around 27 kilograms. Jade, I'm not up for a message. I'm honestly not. 27 kilograms. I'm sorry, Jade, but I'm not. 27 kilograms is raising his paddy. (laughs) You know what they say. The the more they brag, the more they're overcompensating. Just saying. Yeah, Yeah, just saying, Paddy. (laughs) Watch him meme me now. I'm on a ban. You can't. Uh, pl- please don't meme me. Not again. <laughs> I, I know what love. I agree. I, I agree with you. Enough. Have you have you heard Mark call others a pe? It's only me. Is that you, Mark? Do you, do you speak up then? I've heard Mark call other people a pedophile. Yeah. I actually see that it's right. only me, whoever it is. Of a point was like it was tip hey. and tap. Mark has said it the Wes and Wes said it the Mark and exactly. what's the point in getting in the middle of them too? They're gonna go at it regardless. Exactly. But no, we it's double standard not it's love. It's only me. Either not of them come on in their real fucking name. Because they're both Cut as strong and they're real fucking lame her. as per normal coming from a fucking page. It's your page. Coming from a fucking page yet again, it's only me. Oh, you're replying to Joe. It comes up, me. it comes but up, um, individual comments. It doesn't come up as replies. I apologize. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't come up as replies. It's only me. I apologize. It comes up as individual comments. So. You can yes, see Johnny, how it you was calling Kev on a, Kev on a live the other day. I remember that actually. Uh, it, it was, yeah, it was. It was that live with uh, Colin. <laughs> but like you say, the words got that diluted. That's all that's coming out of it, you know, out of people's mouths just lately. It's like it's a, a common word. It's like fuck off to call somebody a pedo. Look, and it it has, just Kevin Ashley is not I said it innocent. Before, that word has been watered down and watered down and watered down. It's that's what it's been. That word's been watered down and watered down. Yeah. I, I don't know. Four or five years ago, you was called another pedophile, mate. That was the worst word you could ever ever be called, bigger than cunt or anything. 
now. Yeah. Nonsense people going about like fucking cunt and fucking wanker and do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what I want to say is, Emma, I agree with you, love. I do agree with you. But sometimes, especially when all this is going on, you know, especially when you're a single parent and you see it, it's very, very hard to hide what's going on and to not be upset and for your kids not to see you upset. So uh, whilst I agree with you, and I do, it is difficult, Maybe especially, sure, you know, it is right. hard to get upset and your children are going to see it and pick up on it, whether you want them to or you try your hardest not to. Do you know what I mean? So I do really love, and Emma always speaks sense, you know what I mean? I think Emma's amazing. I love Emma. sure, and I'm going to be honest, Kevin's not innocent the amount of times he's called people pedophiles and nonsense and no, whatever. No, he's far fucking from it. Kevin yeah, from he is it. far from it. Do you know from what I mean? He's as bad as anyone else. The trouble it is... It was only not long ago he was telling my Kim Hicks to go and swing from her attic. Yeah. That was well, last night. night he called Sally Trim a slag or a whore, which was fucking disgusting. Sally's amazing. Do you know what I mean? He called There's what? There's no need for it. He called who? Sally Bertram was like a slag or... <gasps> our Sally. Like, another... Oh, our Sally. I've had words with him, don't worry. But and me and Gertie pulled him up on the chat. But it's what Kevin does, and he? he gets the arm and he's like, he needs to stop blurting that way. It's disgusting. Called her so good. We're not... Good. We're we're not, we're not my five up his ass. Yeah, but the thing is, none of us, none of us are responsible for what those people say and do. I'm not responsible for where I'm not responsible yeah, I, for I didn't all. know that Sally got it last night. Because as I said, I went to sleep once I got the baby settled back down. You were glad, to be fair, Steph, in one way, you were glad you missed it, to be fair. It was uh, very hurtful to watch. I came off eventually because I couldn't go anymore. Tracy Callis, you're friends with Derek Baker, and I've said. That Tracy Chanel. What's her name? I don't even think I've been. Oh, she's friends with Derek Baker and Betty Barnes. She invites him into all the groups in that. I don't think I haven't noticed. Bye, Tracy. I, I can't. I, 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 I've, it's I've not a no bully up on Kevin. Or, he knows what he's done wrong. He knows what he's done wrong. Him and Sally will speak when, the time, when they both feel ready and when Sally feels ready to speak to him. And we're not no saying sooner. anything other than what Kev would say himself. Anyway, when he gets mad, he'll, he's totally honest in how vile he gets. So I'm not saying it's right. Exactly. But, you, you Kev, know. Kev owns it. He does yeah. own it. Well, he needs to speak to PJ as soon as possible because he triggered PJ the other night. But that's, again, that's Kevin and PJ. That's not something that anybody else should get involved in. Kev was on the defense. Kev was on the defensive. He was. Do you know what? And do you know what? I'm going to say this. He needs to give up smoke. He needs to give up smoking cannabis. And I've told him this before. It makes him paranoid. I have to agree. I'm sorry. Kevin, I have not. Yeah, I mean, and I don't know if you hear this, but I'm so sorry. It genuinely, it makes him paranoid. Can I just say, right, Captain America, if you're watching, you're sitting on here saying now, you know, you've never seen Mark say anything. I told you that I'd sent you an inbox, right, showing you just some of the stuff Mark's been saying recently about me, and you've not even gone to check it, so it just shows you don't give a fuck. So don't sit on here moaning about what's been said to Mark when you're not willing to see what Mark's done himself. No, do you know what? I sat and read out the evidence, and I, I've sent you the screenshots to, to no, prove, obviously. Okay. I proved to you with the screenshots what was said to me in that chat. Well, you come to me, and obviously this is the first I'm talking about. You come to me, and I spoke to you about, can I ask you a question? I thought you can. And she went, I mean, if, if, if Steph's happy to, I'll quite happy at it. Do you know what I mean? She went, have I ever spoke to you about Rachel Jobs? What the fuck are you talking about? So I sent all... Because you've never spoke to me about one. anyone. Yeah. I saw some of the screenshots, and I was like, because this is the abuse I'm getting, and... I don't know why. But she knows that because she come into my inbox asking who'd been slagging her off to me to get her removed from the groove again. It won't be removed her. 
And do you know what? I wasn't Charlie even in the groovy girl. Charlie wouldn't have been to me slagging her off. No, you wasn't, love. You, that, you know, I go into that, but you wasn't, no. But, you know, <laughs> so I was getting the lot. blame. I you back. <laughs> I was getting the blame Maybe of some sort. I'll you back, love. I was going to, I was going to say that. Let me fucking end now. But you hadn't done. You didn't do it. It happened a you lot. And do you know what? It was guilt by And before that, we people. hadn't spoken too well. You know what? I got involved with the wrong people. And I hurt some people. And I'll forever apologise for it. None of us are perfect staff. I made uh, 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 lapse in judgement at the time whenever I was vulnerable. Um, I'm listening. I'll read my inbox. Do you know what? Johnny? It is broken art in Captain America. And if you want to ring me, I'll have police video. But you got to imagine that right? all I've ever done is have your back. That's all I've ever done, right? Is have your back. All I've ever done. You can sit in the chat. I've never, like, come on laughing and joking about you, you with your music because I know it does you good and I know it does your mental health good. Me doing resin done my mental health. It stopped me from going mad. It stopped me from ending up in prison. And all people can do is take the piss out of it because for some reason Mark's got a problem. Not, not that I know why Mark had a problem with me, but Mark's got a problem with me. So it's all right for him to sit there slagging up on a benefit cheat and saying, I'll make it up to make all this fucking money. Do you know how much money I've lost? Captain America, do you know what? I swear. No, you just could My life that I can prove every single bit of it. But do you know why I won't put the food group chat out? Because other people are involved that are innocent. And it's not fair for their names. But without reading the whole conversation, it wouldn't make sense. I don't think anybody listening isn't uh, as hurt as we all are because a lot of us have actually, you know, haven't really known what's going on. And then for it all to be to come out... It is heartbreaking. You know what? I was I mean, sitting and I sat quiet. on this. Quiet. I sat on this from before quiet. Christmas and said nothing. Just took the abuse. Blocked whoever needed to block. Do you know why I stay quiet about a lot of things, Captain America? I'm not coming to you. I'm not coming to, I'm not coming to anyone. Say that more. Is because I would never put people in the middle and make people feel in the middle of friendships or make them feel like they've got to choose or whatever. It's not our fucking work. Do you know what I mean? It's not our old work. And, you know, for you to sit there and say, oh, we was laughing, joking about your resin prices, it's like a stab in the back, whether you see it that way or not. No, no, you said we, Captain America. You you said we. We were laughing about your resin prices or something along the lines. You said, here goes Steph saying we. Do you know what I mean? You, you, what did you say? Why did you I don't know what's said in your group chat, but I'm not in any anyway with you. Good. It's kept her quiet. It's, it's kept her away from the shit. Why didn't you turn around and say that, Captain America? And say, do you know what, Lou? They were saying it, but I'll turn around and them. Like, I left the group chat uh, I was in with Captain America, Mark, and a few, a couple of others. Because when I confided that me and my partner were going through issues, it was just, it was made a, it was made a joke. It was made a joke of. I was an idiot for taking him, but it's my choice. If I want to fight for exactly, a tenure, exactly, right. I will. No, I confided exactly, in people. Exactly, right. We don't jump in people with inboxes cause trouble. It's not our work. It's, it's genuine. Johnny, if she's saying from the inside, it's Johnny, right? Hang on, Johnny. You know, Lou, I said a word, blah, blah, fucking blah, we your words, right, mate? Nobody gives a fuck what you're saying. At the end of the day, you wouldn't still be in a chat. You respected Lou that much. You wouldn't be in a chat where people are disrespecting her. End off. Enough said. You've got no fucking argument here. You're a two-faced piece of shit. Simple as that. Sorry. No, don't be. And you've got a point at the end of the day. If there's something you don't like, it's like you know I. Um, if I'm watching a live and I don't agree with what's being said, I will agree to disagree and just leave because I don't agree with it. It doesn't mean I've got to stand there and defend day. anybody. You're just like, you're talking about something I don't really like, so I'll just leave it. And I've even put on, I'm sorry, this is... Emma Love. Emma Love, he, he put the comment, I, I, you know, I didn't have a problem with Captain America before that comment went up saying... 
how he... Emmy, you know me. Well. I don't I like to keep face people. At the end of the day, if somebody's talking about Lulu and he's got that much fucking respect for her, like he's staying here, then you believe the chat. You know, whether it's about a resin or not, you don't sit in the chat and they're talking. I wouldn't sit in a chat with somebody that's talking about you, Emma. I'd fucking leave because you're my mate. So you there, you know there, I mean? there was a chat be. then. It was just a convo. Emma, Captain words were, Steph is... Back in a minute, sorry, I've got to go back Captain, in a minute. Captain America's words were, Steph is telling how we sat there laughing at her resin. That was the exact words, love. The exact words. But I'm not in a chat back. with him. I'm not in a chat with them at all. I'm going to go with you, darling, because you know I've got nothing but respect for you, Hannah, and I think the world here, I'm, I'll just say in love. I've got nothing but respect for Sir you. Sir, Johnny has just said, she was not being disrespected, it was just a convo. Why was it a conversation? That's the problem. This is the thing. Why was she talking about me? Why, why, why did why did you sit in the chat talking about me or what I'm doing? It's no one's business what I'm doing. I didn't bring it into the community. I didn't post. I didn't even post my shit on this page. I didn't post it in the group. I had a little page that I used to post my stuff. I was proud of what I'd done. And then some people think, so why right, sit there taking the piss? But did you take the piss out of everyone else doing resin, Captain America? Out of other people making things within this cesspit. It ain't a community, it's a cesspit. Pisses me off. fucking pisses me off at the end of the day uh, if i'm in a conversation and there's something being said friend or not i'll say you know even, i mean lulu's typical exact this is a total typical example she came on ranting and raving the other day and i rang her up and i didn't even go hello Mo, how are you it was like don't you fucking dare tell me not to go fucking live <laughs> i'm a friend sorry i'm a friend no don't be sorry but i'm a friend and i and Lou knows. Mel, well, don't. I get told the fuck off at least three times a week. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and but a friend will tell you when you're saying stuff wrong. And I will say, I'm sorry, but I disagree with that. And then I'll leave. So I'm not offending anybody. But, I've just disagreed thought, with comments. These Johnny. people I thought were my friends have literally said things like, I haven't sat or I don't go out. Obviously, anybody that knows me knows that it petrifies me. Um, but I'm just going to make a cup of tea, all right? I'm going to mute myself while I make tea. I'm just going to go and make my 15 million. At the minute, I can't manage an awful long journey because of my mobility. Do you know, the hemiplegia has yeah. been really, really bad. I've had falls. I, I fell down the floors a few weeks ago. Um, but oh dear, right today with my, my crutches. Yeah. I'm going to free class to get me my, crut my crutches so I can get a bite. That's then um, baby, baby steps stuff. Literally, I you do, people. I confided in people that I thought were my friend, and I know I got threw back at me, and it was used as an assault. And it's a weapon against you, yeah, yeah. And that's one why thing I, I won't tolerate is people saying that my partner's fed up being my carer. Do you know what? That man does not even receive Cars Alliance. No. He doesn't get Cars Alliance. He's my partner. Yeah. He knew what I was like when we met. I gave him the option to walk away 10 years ago. Exactly. When I met him, I told him what I was like. And he decided to stay. Has it been easy? No. Because see, whenever I'm mentally fucked, I push everybody away, including him. I've been so horrible to that man. I think we all he, can be, we can all be our, at those stuff. And he doesn't always, deserve it because, you know. do you know what? See, on the days when I don't feel like I can get out of bed, he makes sure that I do. Exactly. You and see, before true. anybody judges anyone else, make sure your own house is in order. Well, that's the thing. Nobody in this goddamn world's got a right to judge anybody for anything, on no matter what you say or do. And that's what really pisses me off. And um, yes, okay, you're totally right. You should be able to trust your friends. And I would be. And Steph and Lou will tell you, I've known them for a long time. If I if I say something that's not right, 
they will get on the phone or get in the inbox and say, Luke, that was Van Gogh Gerardi. That's been a, a true friend, not somebody that's sitting there talking about you. Yeah. Do you know what? Okay, no, I don't need to put my private business out, but people are pushing and pushing and pushing, and do you know what? It gives them no recourse to retaliate. I put it out myself. They can do what they want with it. Shove it up their arse for all I give a shit these days. Because when you when it's thrown in your face I, by people I, that are meant to be, be, fair, to be fair, I don't think anybody that doesn't. Uh, everybody knows. Everybody that knows you knows who you are, Steph, and knows that what you say is true. It's only those that don't know you that will sit there and say, "Oh, she's playing the woe as me," and we, you know, that's just. But imagine being petrified <sighs> to even bloody speak in case it's used against you. It shouldn't be like that. No, it shouldn't. No, and you should freely be able to say what you want. You know, at the end of the day, you should. And I think maybe sometimes I think that's where people don't say enough if they know things are going if on. If I had stood up and the counted back in October, it could have stopped. Where I was concerned, but I thought I could fix it. But it have a shit happens, do you know what I mean? Friends come and go, I've got my family, do you know? Well, exactly, I mean, you know, well, let's face it, they aren't friends to do that on you. Um, People come and go, do you know what I mean? Welcome to 30 years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dad went for milk 30 years ago and the bastard ain't come back. The end oh, wait, day. I need to say that, I'll just be getting told that it's always me. <laughs> Yeah, but thing is, Steph, you're not the only one that's got bit and got hurt by people, uh, by your friends. I don't think there's anybody here uh, in the chat uh, can honestly say and or not that they so haven't had a friend you know hurt them. I absolutely, and I've messaged you a couple of times, I know you're really, really busy. Um, But you're never far from the thought away. No, I know. Well, it's, I, I've just had a rough time like everybody else and like you. I just don't choose to talk about it because, you know, I mean, I'm off work at the moment because I broke my foot like an idiot. <coughs> um, So, you know, I'm walking around the house with a club foot at the minute, but um, I'm not normally around. I'm always trying to play catch up, but I do, I do care. And this is why I think sometimes... You've got to take yourself outside the box and say to yourself, you wouldn't want to wait, example, K, right? But X, Y, and Z will sit there and it's a source of fun and you're scratching your head thinking, what have I done wrong? And I'll use the old adages as I've always used. At the end of the day, everybody... Uh, who is a parent who, who has got somebody they love in their life, thinks and loves the kids like you do. You're the absolute, you know, apple of your eye. But the sad reality is there is people out there that just do not care. And it doesn't matter. It, you're not See, the thing is, but if you look what Lulu's been through, yeah. her kids are inspirations. Like, they really, really are. The yeah. same as Joanne Stewart. We've all, yeah. in this place, we all have a story to tell. Exactly. And we're all still standing here. The people that have caused the shit, where are they? Because they just, because that's all they, it's just sad. That's what they've got in their yeah, life. Forget, that's all they've got to. Don't forget to wipe your and wash your hands if you're taking me for away. <laughs> Not me. I don't know what I'm going to take for. I was making tea and then I started pottering. If anybody's ever brought in the video, just put it out for the world to see. That's the only way it will stop. They won't want what you say. Uh, do you know what? What you say and say the best. Yeah, if anybody has they... ever brought into a bully up chat, just put it out for the world to see. There's many a group out there that you can publish it in. Okay, That's the my, only way it will stop. They won't want everybody seeing what they're really like. Or their advice is be like me and not even to get involved in, in chats. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, some people have got the very close friends in chats and, you know, and I would never say that's a bad thing to have, you know, 
But if I need a shoulder, if I need a shoulder, I know I could message any of you, and I know any of you would be there. So I personally you message me. I'll go back to you in three to five working days when the kids give me back my phone. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so I personally don't see the need for uh, group chats because I do think they cause problems, but that is only my well, opinion. Do you know what this group chat started out as? We nicked it from Darren only, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that is so, yeah. That's that how so... old it is. Was... I want oh, to know what, what, what you're what saying. Perfect, about now. perfect advice. Perfect advice. If anyone's ever bought into a bully up chat, just put it out there. Obviously, that's the only way they'll stop because they won't run if one's seeing what they're really like. 100 fucking million percent what you're saying. In the case where mine was, there was you would have needed the whole chat and there was innocent people in it, and you wouldn't have understood it unless you read the whole conversation. <laughs> you know, if you don't read the full conversation before it, you wouldn't understand an arg the argument, if that makes sense. Yeah. And it's not fair to bring other people into it. Well, this is why I this is why I say about being involved in a group chat, you know, and I'll play dev devil's advocate here, Johnny. I don't know because I, I have missed a lie, but you were in a conversation and something's being said. Now, me... If I find it disrespectful against Lou, I would say, look, I don't like this, where this is heading, I'm leaving. So I was not saying that you've got to disapprove of your soul. You know, you haven't got to blatantly tell your friends to shut up. You know, you're just saying, look, mate, I don't agree with you and leave. To me, that would have been the more sensible way. Obviously, there's a bigger issue and I, I don't know and I'm not going to get involved in that. You know, but at the end Why of the day, well, you know, I didn't, I didn't think there was any so. <laughs> well, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> Lou, I wasn't here at the beginning of your chat, so I'm going to have to watch it back later just to I know you went, darling. make sense of everything. But, but I, yeah, you know. Um, what, just so people know, I'm going to I'll download this and delete it because you know what it's come to like. Um, but I, I will have the link for the Google Drive if anyone wants it when this is being Yeah, deleted. I'd like to look. I mean, I just missed it for the first hour, so, <laughs> you know, but I'm just, I was just, the thing is, what I'm trying to get at is, is it's, it is dragging other people in. No disrespect, Johnny, but this issue to do with Mark Pitford and this should be picked up by him, really. And, yes, it's commendable that you come on, you come on to defend your friends, just like we've all got friends that we would like done to us, but to be honest, is this your issue? No. Is it my issue? No. Well, we just here supporting me people. I've had a lot of time a lot of respect for him. You know, and I've never seen a chat that someone's making fun of them because there's no need for it. Do you know what I mean? And, and to sit on there and say, they're trying to drop Steph in it, that's what he wants. You know, he was trying to drop Steph in it, saying that, oh, it's a bit Steph telling her how we're sitting in the chat making fun of Lulu's resin prices. Do you know what I mean? It weren't, it weren't not even it in was, the chat. It, it was trying to drop Steph in it again. It was trying to drop it. It was trying to drop Steph in it again. And that wasn't what Sorry, Steph was Kate. saying. If you're going to try and drop me into something, can you make sure I'm fucking there, please? I know I have multiple personalities, but I'm pretty sure none of them are in there. Like, I don't make Facebook accounts for personality. It, 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 it does. Do you know what I mean? It does it hurt me. Do you know what? Funny. If this year has but taught me anything, I've done nothing. Do you know what? If this year's taught me anything, it I've done is. Them. See those that have been loyal, the likes of yourself mm. and Kay, mm. Joe Tomaza, Emma, just Gerda, just to name a few. Appreciate them and appreciate them that, that bit more. Yeah, you don't get many like the likes of Gertie about that often. No, Gertie will say both sides of everything. To be fair, Melanie Simpson, as you might did ask me to make him a 20, 26 or 27 kilogram thing for him to show everyone. Before I 
This is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah, like Gertie's a legend. legend. Gertie's a major. Do you know what I mean? She sees it from both points of view, and then she'll go, hang on, you've been a dick here. They've been a dick there. Yeah. Yeah, they're as bad as each other, or that person's an outright dickhead. Nobody adds Gertie to group chats, because Gertie just tells them all to fuck off and leave. She gets added to group chat, she will leave. Yeah. That's what Gertie does. She got to get involved. Yeah. She doesn't do group chats. I think she lasted all of about five minutes. I mean, Patty, you kicked me and Gertie out of when you set up to expose someone because we didn't shut up. Me and Gertie were talking about having orgies and everything. Patty shut the group chat down. Girls, girls. Ladies, another five minutes and we have to go because I've got like a thing I've got to get myself motivated, take some painkillers, I've got things to do. And I've been sitting on stream now for two hours. Whoops. Yeah, but but to real world I'm... truth, stop twisting shit. Wait, that well, like, wait, they love to the real world truth because I know you're listening, you sad, pathetic cunts. Right, you can sit there and put your posts up all you fucking want. Wayne's never admitted to being a mod on the page that posted them polls about <laughs> my children. So stop twisting it, you like, you fucking thick cunts. Just your gender. Mark off. All right, Kay, listen, Kay, you're doing off one, everyone, so I'm going to end this one. Alright, bye. Hey, hey, hey. Um, all right, Luke. Take care. And Kate's going to do one. Love you all. Speak later. Yeah, love you. Bye. Yeah, give us a call later, darling. All right, speak to you all later. We'll do. Bye. Bye.